Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is the ninth war of the season, season 26, and we're going up against an alliance called Fast and Furious Fighters. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the defense, formulate our attack plan, uh, see if we need to swap anybody out, and go from there. This time I'm doing it right nice and early. I'm grinding for a champion here, Shong Chi. All right, so I take path three, and oh my, no defenders on my path. Nice. Uh, and then we've got uh, Cap Infinity War. I will probably take him since I don't have anyone on my path, so I'll take him. Uh, Doom over down there, and uh, Korg probably won't touch those guys. We got Human Torch. Hopefully they will let me take him. Uh, Nick Fury eats that node and Human Torch up, okay? Then we've got Colossus. Of course, that's Claire all day, every day. And then we've got MODOK. Now, this MODOK here, especially because uh, he has uh, the explosive personality, and you know how he likes to um, auto-block you. Well, the explosive personality is nothing to Claire. So even if I do manage to hit into his block, I can nullify his uh, furies and, and anything like that from that. Uh, and then we've got Iron Man Infinity War here. And that fight can be really annoying. Uh, Claire can probably do it, but I wouldn't if I can help it. Uh, Warlock would be the better option for that particular fight. All right, so we'll just see what we look like when we get there. All right, here you got Mini Boss Island. I usually am asked to take the fights off to the left. So that Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, uh, I could take with Claire. Uh, we got Tigra. Nick Fury can do that fight. And then you have Vision, OG Vision. Uh, ideally, you want someone who can power lock him. If, you know, you have a magic, bring a magic in. Uh, but Claire can do that fight. It's just a little dicey. Uh, what I might end up doing if they ask me to do that fight is pop an invulnerability boost and just go ahead with her. Uh, and that way I can eat a few specials if I'm not uh, too sloppy with it. All right. And then along the bottom, we've got Angela. We've got uh, Annihilus and we've got Guardian. So normally our backup, if they're not needed elsewhere, will come in and they will bring counters for these three. They'll boost up and then they'll just do these three fights. That's the idea. Now, sometimes it hasn't worked out like that because the backup was needed uh, on another path to help someone out. Okay, so... Uh, We'll be back with a little bit of the fighting and my comments over the fighting. Uh, so see you soon. All right, so we're back and I'm going in with my standard team of Warlock, Nick Fury, and Black Widow Clairvoyant. And of course I take path three in sections one and two. And as you saw earlier, no defenders on my path, which is a bit unusual, but Sometimes uh, the opponents want to consolidate their really strong defenders on the more difficult nodes because these are not really that difficult to deal with. So since I didn't have anyone to fight on my path, of course I was going to go in here against the boss. You can see the nodes we're dealing with. Uh, for the most part, how I handle this is I just ignore them. I go in with Nick Fury, not planning to throw any specials uh, or anything like that although I could, and just go to town. You know, he's going to build up Furies, but I will go hard so that I can try to get him down faster. You see the Furies uh, stacking up. And if you get hit, uh, if the fight goes on too long and you have all those Furies up and you get hit, you're dead. Okay? But as you saw, we had no problem. We got him down. Uh, the other reason that I choose Nick Fury on that is of course because of the life model decoy. So if I do mess up, I won't die right away. I have a little cushion. And also his bleeds. 
his bleeds uh, ignore all that armor or anything that we have to deal with. All right, so you can see I ran out of energy here and I want that human torch. In a previous war, uh, someone went in and died to that human torch and I felt so bad because I know I can take him with Nick Fury. So this time I asked, and you can see Just Try here, uh, he gave me a little bit of a boost to the energy, but you can see he had to stop there. He didn't have enough energy. Um, so I waited. This is late at night and uh, I'm about to go to bed, but I wanted to do this rather than wait for the morning and then have someone come and try to do it so that they could continue on into the section two. Uh, so I wanted to take this fight. He helped me. When I had one energy, I went in. All right, and this fight, straightforward. We want to just go ahead and uh, just keep putting the bleeds on him. That's it. And if I have to eat a special three, no big deal. Life model decoy is out and can do that. So even if it takes out all my health, I'm still going to be good. All right, so you can see here, boom. He didn't even get to a special three. Uh, that's why I like uh, Nick Fury. And if I can get my Nick Fury awakened as a six star, he's going up and you'll start seeing him in Alliance War. All right, so we opened up the section and then I went to bed. Okay, so now next day, woke up, washed my face, brushed my teeth. I'm feeling nice. Let's go. Uh, first fight is Colossus. And it's a great placement for Colossus. It's just that I have the best counter, in my opinion. Uh, Clairvoyant just rips him up. Uh, normally, uh, when he has those armor ups, he is going to use an armor up to basically negate your damage, all right? Um, and of course, Colossus generates a lot of armor ups himself. But unfortunately for him, Clairvoyant nullifies those armor ups so it's very easy um of a fight it's an easy fight uh with clairvoyant i went in here with uh corvus one time that was no good no bueno uh corvus would trigger protection and uh i couldn't get any damage every every one of my um criticals and I did manage to get him down with Corvus, but that's a Corvus trap. Don't bring your Corvus to that fight. You won't like it. I didn't like it, but um, Clairvoyant, beautiful, easy. Makes the fight simple. Now this fight here, I was a little worried about it and I'm thinking, okay, there's a couple of ways I could do it. If I go in here with Warlock, I can parry heavy him to death. I've done that before. Okay, that will work. Um, or I can go in with Black Widow Clairvoyant. I won't have to worry about hitting into his block. He will generate, um, you know, see that? He will generate those, but she's going to nullify him. All right, and she's going to put that bleed as long as I do the full combo. All right, you can see I'm not doing full hit, uh, full five hit combos here. All right, you see there? I hit... Her, him once on the block to remove the auto block and then waited and then went in again while the auto block was on cooldown. That's pretty much how you want to fight him. Uh, again, Warlock, I could have just been parry heavy, parry heavy. And uh, I have deep wounds maxed out. So that bleed of Warlocks would last a nice good long time. Um, I got caught here and that kind of woke me up. You know, I was just like, whoa, because I dashed back didn't move and i'm like oh we're not doing that but we got him down uh another reason i like to use claire is because she can heal uh, if i need her to in other fights i can uh get some health back all right so it's not you know too terrible if i take a hit or two like i'm gonna have to heal up with uh potions um she saved me a lot of potions in these uh last wars all right so now We've got combat power rate and buffet along with these um, boost buff armor ups, okay? Uh, Iron Man Infinity War is annoying on that, 
but I know how to fight him. So you can see here, I'm looking through and I'm like, uh, I was thinking about using an advanced power boost and then using the tech and get it down. But I was like, you know what? Um, even if I do that, I'm going to get him to the point where, you know, he's below the, was it 13%, 15%? I forget. Um, but I'll get him down there and then I'm going to still have to fight him, you know, like I would anyway. So you can see here, I'm just trying to get the infection up on him. Uh, can you see the regen that he's doing? Now that I have the infections, I can uh, go to work, okay? Uh, and I want to keep hitting him. I want to be aggressive so that I can get and keep that infection on him or else he's going to heal up. Now, you saw me um, parry heavy. While he has an armor up, he's immune to bleed. So uh, ideally, you only want to do that when he doesn't have an armor up. Then you can bleed him. But if he generates an armor up after you put the bleed on him and then start attacking him, it's going to go away. Okay, so um, I'm just basically fighting him like normal. This part of the fight isn't a problem. Uh, it's that last bit that is the problematic uh, part of his fight. Okay, so you can see here, uh, I'm still wanting to keep the infections up. Uh, there we go. Got the infections on him. Uh, because it's real demoralizing when uh, <laughs> you see that health getting regen back. Not fun. And right there, I don't mind him hitting into my block because any contact helps uh, get those, uh, infection spores on him. Uh, and there we go. He's done just like that. Uh, now during the fight, you may have noticed that I had no power after a bit. You have to plan for that. Go in with someone that does not rely on their specials. So warlock, of course, does not rely on his specials. They're great, but he doesn't rely on them. All right. So that done. And I got to mini boss Island here. I took a look around, as you see there, you know, um, I could have gone to the right with a nihilist. Don't really like fighting a nihilist in the best of times. And on that node, I don't like it. And I noticed that um, one death already occurred to this uh, Spider-Man here. So I'm like, okay, I will finish this fight and then wait and see if I'm needed for any of the other two or if they're going to bring in someone um, who has a better counter, which is what they ended up doing. All right, so this fight can be tricky. Um, it's rage, but Claire, as you can see, every time he gets a fury, she's nullifying it, so he's not going to stack the furies up. And also notice that I am not um, uh, doing full five-hit combos on this uh, Stark Spidey. Uh, I have found, especially in war, he will suddenly start evading like crazy. And so I don't want that. Now here, you know, he's getting some good power and I'm just needing to bait out quite often. So I'm trying to play this kind of slow. And here we go. Um, that gave me a little bit of health because that's what I was uh, going for uh, in case I'm needed for the other fights. Remember I mentioned earlier um, that... Uh, that's what she can do. She can uh, heal up. All right. So I'm staying in blood. Uh, I didn't even do a full five hit combo to get out of Curse of Plague. I mean, to get to Curse of Plague so that I could get rid of that poison. So I'm not healing as much as I could because I have that poison on me. All right. But I was like, you know what? Let's just get him down. And we got him down without too much difficulty. Just had to play it a little bit differently than I normally would. All right, so that was the last fight for me of this war. Um, it's a very, very close war. Uh, so we are going to be back in a minute, and you'll find out how we did. All right, the war is about to be over, and we're going to find out together how this war ended. All right, so we've got uh, about 30 seconds left to find out how we did. This war was very close and it'll probably come down to diversity. All right, so uh, at this point we were up by uh, a few kills, but diversity, 
seems to be the deciding factor in this war. Uh, and if we want a, a good shot at Platinum 3, we need to win this one, all right? So 2-1, all right, war ended. Let's see, will it pop up and let me know? Or will I have to go look myself? All right. Uh, I'm looking to see if uh, history uh, will pop up. Let's see if I go out. I don't see any in-game notifications, so it may not be ready yet. So, all right, there they go. So those are the notifications. So let's find out. Ooh, and we lost. Congratulations, guys. Uh, this was a very close war. Shout out to those who uh, came to my stream. Um, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, man. Um, so for you guys that don't know, uh, a lot of the guys from this alliance came to my stream uh, to watch me and show some support as well. Uh, but yeah, this this war was very close. Let's see the final score. Yeah, look at that, guys. Look at how close this was. Look at how close. You know, what's that? 30, 40 points difference? Like one fight, maybe? Um, we got them on the attack bonus, but I think they got us on diversity. Uh, and if we had died just one less time, we would have won. This was a extremely close war. All right, but congratulations uh, to you guys, Fast and Furious. Um, take care. Uh, click like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.